In this video, we head way down south to try to buy a 59 Ford Fairlane station wagon to go along with JD's 59 Ford Fairlane sedan. Uh, and that didn't really pan out. This car here that you're seeing here, I'd sure like to have it. I mean, I was all over it, but it just had some title problems. And for the price that he wanted, I wasn't willing to take on the title problem so uh hopefully if that gets straightened out i probably will buy that car i know you guys like it that's why i'm showing it <laughs> pretty dang neat but anyway let's pick up where we are headed back home and what do we spy from the highway at a scrapyard but an amc eagle sx4 well the deal on the old ford kind of fell out the title was messed up on it so we're driving down the highway and that is an eagle sx4 that's a four-wheel drive hatchback. So this is at a scrapyard. I called the old boy, and he's on his way back here to show us the car, I guess. <laughs> he only wants a thousand bucks for it. Don't have a title, but uh, I can work with that for a thousand bucks. Let's let's take a look at it. I like the Mercedes. What else has he got? Is it all for sale? I'll take it. it does look like it's been thumped in the front here. It's shoved in there. Yeah. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Alright, let's drive it home. We stopped here. What's what's your name of your scrap yard here? Brown Iron and Metal. Brown Iron and Metal. Fair play? Bolivar. 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 Bolivar, Missouri. And yeah, I, I, I bought it for 850 bucks. <laughs> uh, this is too cool. It's a stick. What'd you see? What? Oh, uh, she's solid, man. She's real solid. This is kind of roundabout turned into something I like better. Look at that. It's a stick. <laughs> so cool. Well, it pays to ask. Just made my day. Thousand percent worth it. You should send a picture of this to that other dude with a middle finger on it. <laughs> That'll work. That'll work. That'll work. We can make that work. Hell yeah. Look at that LED headlight. I know. It's freaking already badass. Hey, you just found out what you put your light bar on. Yeah, no kidding. This would be a Mad Max machine here. Yeah. I love buying cars without even looking under the hood. I need more. Winch. Okay. <laughs> well, that was not what you were expecting. No. <laughs> no, but I love it. He says I think it's cooler. Steering's wasted. Oh, yeah, the, the column. column. It's, yeah, it's got all kinds of stuff wore out in it. That's just a Jeep column. Yeah. Oh, I know how to fix that. Because then you have to tighten that one up. In the vet. No, I did that in the vet. Same column. That's a GM column. It's not lifted. This is factory height. Yeah. Unless they've got different springs. It... But that's this is the way it's supposed to look. <laughs> it's fing cool looking. <laughs> Gas smells. Smells beautiful. Oh, this is cool, man. I think this is way cooler. The chicken. I Oh, look at the headliner. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Dude. The interior is actually in really good shape. I know. Like someone. It has an eagle feather in it. Of course it does. But it looks like you can start the column, start the car without a key. This will be running today. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I'm going to go home and work on my truck, but. Cody, that's, that's, look at that. That's a cliff. That's an aluminum intake with a freaking HDI and a that's a 350 Holly, I think. Yeah. No, it's a Weber. It's a Weber. What Adapted the hell? Adapted with a four barrel adapter. That's a four barrel intake. It's a freaking <laughs> <laughs> That's a four barrel intake. This is, somebody had themselves a hot little motor. Pro Th this. Is that a four liter, not a, a 4.2? No, I think it's a four liter. Oh my God. It's a 258. What is this? Oh, fancy. Well, it originally had a 258, but I don't know. This uh, valve cover looks like a 4-liter valve cover. It does. It's got a fuel pressure regulator. 
So does it have an electric pump in the back? It wouldn't have had, it would have been. Would it be well, it might be because if, if this is out a of a four liter, liter, there's no mechanical pump. Yep, that's a new master cylinder. And is there a hydraulic master cylinder on the other side of the? For like for uh, on the far side, on your closest side, there should be a. No, there's nothing. There's no nothing. room for anything. I see a clutch cable. Okay, so it may okay. just be disconnected. Yeah, I think it's a clutch. Although there is a bleeder thing down there, I'm not sure. I don't know. Wait. I just gotta take some looking. Wait. But I think they somebody set the. Somebody had this set up for as an air compressor. Oh, like a like a trail rig. Like a trail rig. This is cut off. But you can do put, that with those, though, right? Yeah, it's a it's a not a York style though. That's a sand in. Well, be damned. Somebody had fun with this. I hope it runs. When they're hopped up like that, you know, it it, it probably doesn't. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's got some needing to be some redoing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is sketchy for our standards. Yeah, it is. <laughs> really. But, but it's cool. That's this baby's got duels on it. So, so it's got... Log tube split. header, aluminum four barrel intake. That guy didn't know any of this. No. He never got the hood open. He probably never opened the hood. <laughs> that looked cool. Some oh, big yeah. wide turbines on it. Those are 15? Yeah. These are Ford pattern. Hell, the wheels on Dad's Torino would look good on here. Those kind of ugly Outlaw 2 polished yeah. wheels. That'd look good on this. Yeah, this is a nice track. All goes well. We should be at Bolivar Speedway here in a few months. You know, doing something with something. Maybe this. I don't know. <laughs> Seems like what we need to run. Got you a, a, a circle track car now? <laughs> yeah. It's built for dirt. It needs a jump. Oh man, I can build a jump. <laughs> yeah, well, we're home with it, and uh, let's see if it will run. Uh, we know it ain't gonna drive. It's missing the clutch master cylinder. But at least see if she'll fire up. It's worth a shot. Uh, just to reiterate, there's an HEI ignition. That is a four-barrel aluminum intake. That is dual exhaust out of two headers. I mean, she's hot. So we gotta change out this battery cable. And then, because it's an electric trunk release, they could pop the hatch with that, I guess. And maybe dig around in here, see if we can find the damn master cylinder for the clutch. Because it's not in here. So, if we can at least find it, then we can have a part number at least. Thank God, at least the door buzzer works. Let's see if that trunk will pop. Hell yeah. And the shocks are good. Holy crap. Whoa. Ooh, got some yeah. speakers. Oh, dude. Sound deadening. Dude, rocking. One of these. That's a carpet. This looks like a JD task. JD, find the master cylinder in the Eagle. Those are That's spare tire cover. Spare tire cover. This is all, it's all factory stuff. That's Lucky strike. Those are fairly new. Turnover. Yeah, battery may not be the best. Been sitting a while. Dude, she's got extreme sound. Fuel pump. Yeah. Fuel it, pressure. It's picking something up. Six and a half pounds of fuel pressure. <laughs> well, you need to beat the hell out of it. Oh, I smell gas. Oh, it's puking out of it. Good. Again? Yeah, it's dumping out of the uh, accelerator pump whenever you pump it. Fuel pump shuts off with the key. That's good. Go buy or find a, a starter solenoid. Put that in. Get the crank over fast enough. It'll run probably. Yep. We throw the jump pack on it if we have to. This yeah. gas. It's. She's gonna run good. <laughs> That's straight That's varnish. Oh. <laughs> it's on my finger. Here's why this thing wound up at the scrapyard is clutch master cylinder on this thing. 
is made out of unobtainium. Uh, un unobtainium. That, that's definitely why. And they didn't leave it in here, so we can't do anything with it. Um, so if any of you guys know AMCs, um, and you have a, I think, remote reservoir, clutch master cylinder, or one of these things, if you have one, even if it's junk, I'd love to have it, and I'll buy it from you. Just, uh, you know, email me, or mail me, or whatever. Now we picked up this new starter solenoid here. Pro tip, uh, you know, you can, you can buy one of these for anything, as long as it's cheap. That's the key operative there. Uh, that one's for like a 80s Ford truck, I think. The one for the car was like 50 bucks. That one was 17. That's the right one. Look at the shiny parts on this thing. Isn't that something? Hot dang. This thing's worth at least, I don't know, 16 bucks? Hell. 25. <laughs> I'm sure they, you know, not everybody knows who Vanna White is. Ooh, Vanna White. Oh. I'm not a good Vanna White. You do have a fancy feather in your cap in here. That's an eagle feather, bro. Yeah. And then a shoelace. Wait, what? Oh. With, I think, a rubber band? I hope it's a rubber band. I don't know. But yeah, there's a, uh, a shoelace fancily tied around the mirror. Battery in here. It's somewhat better. It works pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. Rob that out of JD's car. All right, now wait for sparks or... Huh? Okay. So far, so good. Things are maybe happening. Hit it! <laughs> well, that's promising. <laughs> Let me get the jump pack. We're going to use our Hulu 4000 thing here. And, uh... You know, give her some extra amperage here. Oh, it's the ground, it's hot. Let's give it an extra ground. Okay, puked a little. No biggie. pressure light on it never went off oh well, hey let me check the stick we did notice it was low well it's empty <laughs> so let's dump some oil in it before we go any further just gonna dump some walmart oil in it since it said it was you know none did you check cool jay uh yeah it has some i could check it again well nah, don't do it now. yeah not right now but it did have some in it yes it had built till the top Really? Yeah. It didn't look the greatest. Yeah. Nothing I own ever is. Okay, so, uh, oil pressure light. Works. No oil? No. Still none? No. Uh, okay, it's got a little bit on it. Has it got some on there? Uh, yeah, it, it, like, tiniest drop I mean, of oil. I, I'm not going to put a ton of trust in these gauges, because, I mean, none of them... Function? Oh, it has the green gauges. Oh, really? The green backlight. Yeah, and I got some more oil in there.
Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's leaking. Well, yeah, the cellar, but it's clatter. Upper end noise. Hell yeah! <laughs> It drove it. it moved. I think the clutch is wasted. Or was I just spinning? You were spinning. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I wasn't hardly doing anything. It looks like a four-wheel drive <laughs> escort. <laughs> it looks so cool driving off. I don't want to drive it. I'm afraid. I don't want to. I don't want to catch on fire. It is pretty bad. It... I'm all for cool stuff, but if that car got on fire, I, I would actually be pretty hard. I would drive it into the pond. Uh, yeah, to keep it and from just burning. shut it off and then. Because <laughs> I, I would feel terrible. Yeah. Look at it. I mean, fuck, it's fucking perfect. It is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she sounded pretty. She sounded pretty spicy. Just in case I wasn't clear, the reason we aren't like driving it, we moved it right over to this spot, and that's it. Um, I just jammed it in first gear and started it up. The reason I we aren't like gonna go take this thing around even in first gear is because of this accelerator pump gasket. Oh, look, you can see it right there. Look at that hole. <laughs> they just didn't put the gasket on right. I mean, it's no big deal. We could just change that gasket out or make one, and uh, and then that will fix it. But we're dumping so much fuel out of here, and we're kind of afraid we're gonna burn the car down. And honestly, I really like this car and it's kind of a rare car so uh, you know I am a butcher but I'm not that big of a butcher you know I, let's let's try to take care of this one it deserves it well anyway I moved in here to the light where you can see me because it got dark on us but now you've seen us grab an Eagle SX4 out of a scrapyard by accident it is a one of 2279 cars it's that is a unbelievably rare car out there and it's a stick on top of it and you gotta figure there's probably a lot less of them right unbelievable i have wanted one of those cars forever it's a bucket list car for me and since that ford wagon didn't pan out it just kind of fell into my lap you know and that's like fate right there it seems like it's like god wants me to spend your money spend your money anyway i figured out what kind of master cylinder to buy on it by now uh, it's a Willwood like aftermarket thing. Uh, so I think uh, I think we can get the clutch master cylinder figured, and the brakes work good in it. I think we could just go drive it. It doesn't have a title. I have to figure that situation out again. But no biggie. I know how to do it, right? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to hit that subscribe and hit that like uh, if you like what you see here. And check out the other videos on the channel. There's a lot of good stuff here. We'll see you guys next time on Full Barn Garage. We are the real budget YouTube channel.